Let's go! Andre Evans commits to LSU, a really nice defensive back prospect out of Tennessee. Comment down below your thoughts on this nice pickup for Brian Kelly. And what is very interesting about Andre Evans is we have actually already released a deeper Patreon breakdown on that exact play. So um, make sure you go check it out. Obviously, everybody that joins the PHL Patreon, guess what? We are hooking you up with a Joe Burrow card. But obviously, the big thing for me and all links will be down below is LSU, of course, loading up at the defensive back position. Now, we'll talk about the DB room as a whole coming up uh, a little bit later in this video. But for right now, Andre Evans, as you can see in the background, has really good ball skills. He was a wide receiver as well as a defensive back at CPA. And I also think when you are a receiver, it does help, once again, translating to the other side of the football because, well, you know what to look for from a receiver. And for the most part, most defensive backs in high school also play offense. It is rare you see... Uh, a DB, especially one like Andre Evans that has sub 1100 meter dash speed. I mean, it is very rare that you don't see those types of players play the other side of the football. But the big thing for me, as far as Evans is concerned, is his raw athleticism. Okay. Once again, that sub 1100 meter dash, this is an opportunity to add some much needed athletic ability to the secondary. And the good thing is. LSU has made it known that it doesn't want to just rely on one-and-dones from the transfer portal um, moving forward at LSU because, for the most part, under these first couple years under Brian Kelly, they have really needed the portal to get DBs in to start and play quite a lot of snaps uh, for Brian. Now, obviously, we only have one year of BK at LSU, but... The same thing is probably going to be true next year as the DB room is going to be quite a few transfers. So I think LSU wants to rely a little bit more through high school recruiting at this position. So obviously a really, really nice pickup. And one thing that is very interesting about Evans is this is kind of like our Kylan Billiot video that the high school tape doesn't tell the whole story. So part of what makes Evans very interesting is at a recent LSU camp, he was one of the most dominant performers. So Kylan Billiot, who just committed, you can get our video on him down below. Um, he was a recruit who did really well at a recent 7-on-7, seven seven, and LSU gave him the offer, and he committed pretty quickly. Same thing is true for Andre Evans. This was a guy that Brian Kelly sought out after uh, a recent camp performance, and there are a lot of reasons why Andre Evans made a lot of noise at the LSU camp. And something else to keep in mind is when you think of most high school football recruits, you think of them as guys that were on really good teams, Andre Evans, kind of like Billy Yatt, was on a team that had a really up-and-down season last year. So um, understand that not all players, you know, come from, you know, the strongest winning programs. Uh, Joel Rogers, um, who just recently committed from West Feliciana, is a guy that played on a team that won a lot, and I mean a lot of football games last year. So um, really excited about this one. Boom, I'm looking at you. Yes, you right now. So kind of like our Joel Rogers video, I want to break down uh, a, a play that I love to see. And these are, you know, the kind of winning plays that you want out of your players. I believe this is the first game of the season. What's very interesting is that this is a home game. But I want you to see, number one, this is obviously, you know, just rare. Look at this visiting crowd. That is pretty packed for a high school game. So I'm guessing this is some kind of uh, rivalry here. So this should have been a pick going the opposite way, right? The, uh, I mean, I don't know how this ball was not picked off, and it wasn't. So Andre Evans does a really good job not giving up on it. Safety was kind of spooked that that wasn't a pick. So this should have been 
seven points potentially going this way. So now Andre Evans, who is on this opposite hash, has to suck this guy up, pause, uh, to prevent this touchdown. And these kinds of plays win you games. It may not seem like it, but they do. Um, Just ask Grant Delpit versus Auburn in 2019. The chase down tackle is a very underrated trait. Uh, Battle at Alabama was really good at it these last couple seasons. And right here um, on Patreon, we did a breakdown of this exact play. Earlier in the game, Evans got beat on a double move, and this time he doesn't let the double move beat him, and he's able to make a good play on the football. So, Obviously, some really good stuff here. This was also a game uh, on uh, in a similar situation. We did this in our Patreon breakdown as well, uh, where he was able to jump this route. Uh, this was an up-and-down game for him. So, um, obviously, there are some just amazing plays on here. Um, and then, obviously, the camp performance is something that uh, takes – into uh, this equation as well. But obviously, anytime you get an athlete of this caliber to be a part of your class, someone that you offered on camp, which was a obviously a very memorable experience for him, a guy that was getting heavily pursued by the elites of the elites uh, recently, really good day to be an LSU Tiger. So let me know what you guys think uh, about Evans, and uh, let's hope he develops into the next great DB at LSU. So I don't remember who took uh, this photo right here. Uh, it, it, it could have been Shay. It could have been quite a few reporters. So I am totally sorry. Uh, I just remember capturing it and uh, and saving it because this is what it's all about right here. Um, John Randall Belton, who made an appearance in the uh, Kylan Billiot video. So you take a look at the uh, LSU defensive back room, and obviously Andre Evans can play a wide variety of positions, but I do think LSU wants to make him a true outside corner. Um, And I I think this very well could be the case for Andre. One thing that you do look for the final year with the senior tape is how many things do you see on there that you believe could translate to the next level. And hopefully we get to see Andre play a little bit more. Well, once again, it gets more detailed in the Patreon breakdown. But uh, obviously he plays a lot of offense, and I hope next year he plays uh, a lot more defense compared to offense. But it's not a be-all, end-all. And look, that corner room, if you can go out there and give good DB reps, you could play right away but hopefully you have guys like Denver Harris and others step in maybe a LaTerrence Welsh going into year three for 2024 maybe those guys are the guys and you get not only Andre Evans but some of these Louisiana DBs hopefully Wardell Mack and Wallace Foster are a part of this class out of the state of Louisiana and then of course you already have the three safeties committed out of the state so obviously a really 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 good day to be an LSU Tiger and another nice piece for the 2024 recruiting class so comment down below let me know your thoughts on today's video it is power hour LSU bam And tonight, we're doing uh, Stuffed Grilled Chicken. Let's go!